This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. We're here at the Kever of Rebarach of Mezbish, who's also buried next to the, the Ivy Israel and the Rabbi Israel Baal Shem. Rebarach of Mezbish was the son of Udol, the daughter of the Baal Shem, as we mentioned. Udol, it's an interesting name, Udol. But Udol, Udol is a Helege Nomen. Udol is um, Eish Das Lamai. Is Udol. Eish Das Lamai. So Rebarach started learning Gemara. His father was Rabbi Chil Ashkenazi, married to Udol. So Rabbi Baruch starts learning Gemara, and in Yeshiva, what Masech do you start learning Gemara always? Bamatziah. Rabbi Baruch is Makvid. He's going to start Baba Kama. So the Rebbe said, you don't do things this way. We start with Baba Matsya. Rabbi Baruch says, no, we start with Baba Kama, because Baba Kama is Rosh Tevois. Baruch ben Udol Kadosh Mei Rechem. Rechem Imai. Rechem Imai. Baruch ben... Udul, Kaddish Merecham Imai. So he went to the Zayda, the Zayda said he's right, he has to start Baba Kama. And Taka, he started Baba Kama. Now it's very interesting, in the Sefer Beis Avram of Slonim, he brings, when, whenever a Baruch would start to learn, you know, there's a concept that uh, someone who's a Balavera can't learn. There's a passing in Tehillim, Velarasha Amar Malacha Lasapra Chukai. So a Baruch would say, How could you learn? How could you learn? It's such a Russia. You did this and that. You have to do tshuva before it, and he would be master himself for tshuva. Every, but the next day when he would learn, he would say the same thing. How can I learn? How can I learn? Uh, you did the savira, and even yesterday you did tshuva, and it still didn't help. You have to do more tshuva today. And this is how he was naig. Every time he would learn, he would sort of stir himself in repentance to do tshuva. He has a beautiful taich in the Berchas Hamazain. Noidel chashem lekeno. We thank Hashem for all the various things, for bris, for Torah, for Eretz Yisrael. And then we say, We say, Hashem, for everything I thank you. But He would touch you like this. We thank you for bris. We thank you for Torah. We thank you for Eretz Yisrael. And above and beyond everything... Hashem Aleikeinu Anach Nemayimlach We thank you that you're Hashem Aleikeinu So you touch like this V'yala koel Above and beyond everything that we thank you Rebbe Nishlam Hashem Aleikeinu Anach Nemayimlach For everything we thank the Rebbe Nishlam The most important thing we thank you for Is that you're Hashem Aleikeinu So Rabbi Yaakov Meir Shechter writes in a Sefer That one time the grandson of Rabbi Yaakov Mezbiz Was playing, playing hide and go seek So he went to hide and the kid who was supposed to find him wasn't interested in finding him, wasn't looking for him. So uh, the kid, he's waiting, he's waiting. After five minutes he comes out and he sees that his friend's not even looking for him. And he comes out crying, he comes out crying. And he comes to Zayda. And Zayda said, don't you understand? Do you understand how the Yibbana Shalom feels? The Shekhinah is hiding from us. The Shekhinah is behester upon him. You know how much pain the Shekhinah feels? We're not even looking for him. This should give you an insight how much pain the Rebbe Nishon feels that he's behester and we're not even looking for him. I'm going to tell you a, a vart. Even, even um, Rabbi Lokic from Detroit, if he would hear this vart, he would like such a vart. This is not a beautiful vart that uh, anyone could use. They attribute it to Rameir Shapiro, but there's an earlier source. The earlier source is Rabbi Chav Mezvez. Bilam Harasha, he passes by Klal Yisrael. And it, he says what? Matoivu Ayalacha Yaakov Mishkan Yisacha Yisrael Says Rashi what, does he, what was he impressed with? Ra she'en Peschehem Mechuvanim He saw that the openings The doors of the Jewish people Were not opposite each other The Pashib Shadis He saw the modesty Of the Jewish people But Rabbi Baruch Mimezrus Teaches like this You know what really bothered him? The tremendous love HaKadosh Baruch Hu has for a Yid because Hashem, what does He ask of us? He says, Just take a little opening for me. Just make a little step for me. Just do a little bit. I'll open up the world for you. He says, Bilam, that's not fear. Why does the Rebbein Shem love a Yid so much that it's not even Midah Kenegad Midah? It's not the Rebbein Shem uh, responds in Latin, we say, quid pro quo Midah Kenegad Midah. He responds, Elef Pa'amim. It's not fear, Bilam said. Why do Rebbein Shem show so much favoritism? Ra she'en pischeyem mechuvanim. He saw the doorways are not equal. He saw the doorway of the Rebbein Shem is much greater than the doorway of, of a Yid. But he also says on the Haggadah, that isn't it strange, the Yom Tov of Pesach is called Pesach, why? Because Hashem jumped over the door. Like, that's the whole Yom Tov. The title of the whole Yom Tov is, Hashem jumped over the door. 
should be called Yitzias Mitzrayim. Why do we call it Pesach? Because Hashem jumped over the door. What's the pshat? He says in Mitzrayim we were Aram Ve'erya. We had no Torah. We had no mitzvahs. We had nothing. We're Mem Tashari Toma. At the very least, we should have had to open up Kechudai Shomachat. Hashem jumped over the door. He, ju- he obviated the need for us to have to open up the door first. Normally the Yibbana Shalom says, yes, I'll open up the world for you, but you have to open up Kechudai Shomachat. Hashem jumped over the door. He obviated. He said, Amoichalzayin, even the Kechudai Shomachat, even more than Bilam. Bilam saw Rosh Ein Peschei Mechuvanam, but in Mitzrayim the Yibbana Shalom did what we call the Sarusa de Leila, where the Yibbana Shalom was Ma'orer us, even without any Pischen on our part. So this is a great teaching of Rabbi Baruch of Mezbish. He taught us, first of all, the great Ava the Yibbana Shalom has for every Yid, that if we just do a little bit, the Yibbana Shalom gives tremendous Siyat to the Shemaya, and then sometimes even more than that, the Yibbana Shalom comes down in Shemayim, and he's Ma'orer Libeinu, to serve him, we should we should try to open up our hearts as much as possible, because then the Yibbana Shalom will open up Elef pa'amim. We should all be zoyche to tremendous siyat of the shmaya l'mal menateva shkayach You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.